Hey guys, in this video what I want to teach you is how to make a spread plate. A spread plate is distinct from a streak plate in that we're not trying for individual colonies. Uh, in fact, what we're trying to do is spread out all the bacteria as evenly as possible across the entire surface of the Petri dish. So what I've got is a sterile Petri dish, LB auger, right? So this is a, a nutrient recipe that the bacteria like that encourages their growth with a solidifying agent auger in it. And we should be able to get colony growth on the surface of this. And instead of using an inoculating loop like we use with a streak plate, where we're trying to spatially dilute them out across that surface, we're gonna use a spreader. Now the spreader we're gonna make from a piece of glass. You can buy plastic spreaders. Uh, you can make heavy glass spreaders that you can keep around for a long time. I find that using these glass Pasteur pipettes is the most effective uh, way to, to create a spreader. So the first thing I wanna do is teach you how to make a glass spreader with a Pasteur pipette. Now this is a pipette, meaning it's, it's an, got an opening. It's used for drawing up and transferring small volumes of liquids. So the first thing I wanna do is close the tip of this. So I just put the very tip in this hot flame and I'm melting the tip of it. And I can see now it's hooked down a little bit, so I want to be careful of that, that it doesn't gouge my auger. And now I'm going to put a bend right about here, um, about two, two and a half inches down the length of this glass pasteur pipette. And because it's so thin and this, this flame is so hot that you've got to be real careful, I want to go for about a 90 degree bend just like that. So now what I have is a tool that we affectionately call a hockey stick. It's really just a glass spreader that I can rub a liquid culture of bacteria across a surface and get them to spread really evenly without shredding them or injuring them in any way. Now this glass pipette just came out of a box. It's not sterile. If I rub this all over my Petri dish, I'm gonna get molds and all kinds of weird things growing. So I've gotta be able to, to sterilize this somehow. But unlike my loop, this thing, as you just saw, is gonna melt if I stick it in the flame directly and heat it up. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it in some ethanol first. This is absolute ethanol. This kills the bacteria itself. The ethanol alone kills the bacteria. But then I've gotta get the ethanol off and I can do that by burning it off. Now I wanna be real careful because when I set it on fire, it can drip and you can have little dripping flames. And it's real easy when you've got a whole setup going to ethanol flame and then brought, draw it automatically right back to you. And then you can have dripping fire right into your dish. So safety points, you wanna be really careful that this ethanol is closed and not sitting directly in front of you so that you don't light it on fire. You also don't wanna have a sheet of paper here. I've seen students have dripping ethanol flames land on their lab notes and everything catches on fire and then everybody runs around screaming. We don't wanna do that. So now this, uh, this glass spreader is disinfected or sterilized and all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a small volume of liquid bacteria to my Petri dish and then use the spreader to move it around. So I'm gonna transfer that volume using a micro pipetter. This is a P200 micro pipetter. I've put a plastic tip on the end, a disposable tip. I'm going to grab a little bit of my E. coli over here that we had in the last video. I'm going to take the cap off and flame it. Sometimes you have to hold multiple things when you're doing microbiology. It's good to get used to it. I'm going to draw up 50 microliters. Usually that's plenty for a spread plate. 50 microliters. I'm going to just eject that right onto the surface of my auger plate. And now I'm gonna spread them on there. There's this, this dollop, this uh, 50 microliter aliquot, and I'm just gonna gently spread it on the surface here. What I'm doing is rotating the plate and just moving the glass spreader back and forth, back and forth, trying to spread the bacteria to every part of this surface as evenly as I possibly can. Now, how do I know when it's done? Well, that 50 microliters of liquid needs to absorb into the auger. And when I feel my glass spreader starting to drag across the surface, then I know that it's absorbed all it's gonna absorb. I can feel it right now, so I'm gonna go ahead and stop. I'm gonna put my lid on, flip this guy upside down. That's gonna go in the incubator. 
And what we would expect from this one, because it was such a heavy dose, is confluent growth, what we call a lawn all the way across the surface. However, if this had been diluted out, we might get individual colonies. But our goal is not the same pattern that you would get from a streak plate. Our goal is to get the bacteria to grow all the way across the surface. And we can use these spread plates for a variety of techniques that you'll be learning about in subsequent videos. So am I done? No, because my glass spreader has E. coli all over it. So I'm gonna bring my ethanol into the picture again. I'm gonna kill the E. coli. Remember, it's not the flame that kills it in this case. It's the ethanol that kills all the bacteria that are on there. I'm gonna shake it off, and then I'm gonna burn off the excess ethanol. And at that point, I'm finished with my spread plate.